what, what is uh, obvious now is that there is an increasing attention to limb girdle muscular dystrophy since uh, um, the new possible treatments have uh, um, become available and there has been a um, suggestion of possible clinical trials starting soon. Uh, there has been a lot of uh, uh, increase attention to aspects of care because unlike Duchenne, where we have been recording uh, um, um, different assessments and uh, we have been recording uh, um, outcome measures and, and functional aspects, uh, much less attention has been devoted to limb girdle muscular dystrophy. And now that the trials are becoming available, um, uh, there is an effort to try to uh, understand and to uh, use uh, structure to, to have uh, uh, more information on the variability of natural history. This is the first trial that's ever been done in limb girdle muscular dystrophy. So now we've opened up a whole new territory and limb girdle muscular dystrophy is a huge spectrum of disease. Um, it was originally described in the 1950s as a singular disease, but over the years we've learned that more and more, more and more different genes are contributing to the LGMD phenotype. And so now we're opening up the possibility for many different types of limb girdle dystrophies to be treated and um, and so this is a very important trial opening up that path uh, for many patients.